So we're on the helideck of the Deepwater Horizon. Get a 360 degree view here. The video was shot by Patrick Lawler, a former officer on the Deepwater Horizon who quit to become a financial planner in 2004. But before he left, on very nearly his last day on board, he picked up a video camera and walked all over the ship and gives a detailed tour of pretty much every square inch of the Deepwater Horizon. It's like spending time with a ghost because that rig is now a mile below the surface of the sea. This large house that we're looking at right here, this large module is the BOP house, blowout preventer house. When we pull the blowout preventer up from the bottom, store it in there. We'll go into the central control room here and get a tour from the DP operators, have them tell us what they do. This is what I used to do. Oh, I gotcha. Looks like the Starship Enterprise. Yeah. So we have our navigation console. We have our dynamic positioning console when we're staying on location. Marcel's diligently watching that. This is our subsea control panel. Each one of those white identification tags with a lighted button behind it represents a piece of equipment on the blowout preventer which sits on the subsea floor. This is used to divert or shut down any blowouts that come from the pressure of the well if we strike oil or water or gas. It gives you a sense of the, both the scale, the enormity of the rig, but also how cramped the quarters are. It's a strange combination of being in the middle of the ocean with limitless horizons all around, but also being in close proximity with your colleagues. This is the well we're drilling for BP. It's called Atlantis. That's the logo. And we're walking amidships. Okay, now we're down in the moon pool. All of the marine riser, the blowout preventer, all of this equipment is staged in this area. We're looking at the inside of this derrick, 210 feet of steel. Shed. Notice the steel cages around his windows in case anything major happens in here. 